If we do that, we add another connection for... Oh, for fuck's sake! Fuck everything! Ah, I was literally just saying it. Look at this guy. You see, <laughs> this guy is the delivery man for the hunting lodge, but because this place is burnt down, he can't actually deliver it, so he's just going to sit there looking, I don't know, dumbstruck. Like, my god, I didn't expect it to catch fire. It actually caught fire. Alright, well, everyone's putting it out now, so let's... Let's build a granary a little closer this time. Now, of course, the problem is, is that as the citizens become more, you know, affluent and snooty, they, they, they decide that they don't actually like certain buildings being near them. So here we go, a nearby building granary is having a detrimental effect on the desirability of this location. So that house may downgrade, but you know what? That's fine. I don't, I don't care too much. Because at this stage we're not going to have, you know, nobility moving in or anything. Or people upgrading to nobility. I'm not really sure how that works. So let's see, are we Osiris II? Uh, it doesn't say who it's to. Why doesn't it say who it's to? Hmm. Odd. Okay, we're gonna need gold to just notice we're running out. <laughs> um, I'm not actually sure if we can... Oh shit. I've just realised we can't actually, because we've run out of money, I think. Can we take loans? Or can we go in debt? Oh, we're just gonna have to fucking hope so. Um, cause otherwise I'm gonna run out. Let's just build like that. And... Will it let me build a village palace? It needs to be on water, apparently. Say we build it the... Yeah. Okay, right, we've run out of money, but they've given us like a, like a, a an oh shit, you ran out of money bursary. Okay, cool. Now, this guy's gonna try and get employment, uh, but obviously it's kind of a, a long walk. Uh, I think we can build bridges though, so let's try it. Oh no, we can't build bridges yet. But we can get a population down here at some point. It's actually got some employment. Also, this building will give us statistics on the kingdom, so... We have an unemployment rate of 59%. Okay, so we... Oh god, these people are moving in already. Uh, we're gonna need a road here, I've just realised. Right, there we go. Now, I will tell you, these things are really, really vulnerable to just collapse. So, I'm just going to build one right there. Uh, do we need another fire station, do you think? No, maybe? No, I don't think so. Okay, so we're just going to let this tick over for a bit. Uh, you see this this lady here? Nope, not the granary. That bossy lady makes me carry goods all day. Nope, that's the delivery man, boy. Claudia Patra. Well, there we go. There's another female name. She works for the bazaar and she collects food from the granary and then brings it here and then she will distribute it to the population. So there you go. She... There you go. Okay, she's in the bazaar and the bazaar has 200 game. And then this lady will go out and she distributes it. All right. Everything's sort of ticking over nicely. We are also getting gold from this gold mine. This one's now got poor access to the workers. Uh, that probably means that the guy has to go too far to get them, I think. Uh, th which is odd, because we've got an unemployment rate of 50%. <laughs> I just guess people are just too lazy to w walk all that way. Okay, it's he's, he's saying it's fine now, apparently. So we're just going to wait until we get enough gold so we can build another one of these. Uh, you'll notice the gold sort of goes up and down. I still don't know what DB means. So we'll just wait for this shipment of gold. Oh, for fuck's sake! Where's our architect? Yeah, I know. I just saw it. Alright, we'll just build another one there. And then get rid of that. We'll just, you know, just gl uh, gl glance over it. No, pretend it didn't happen. How's our structure? How's our fire? Fire's fine. Police? No, no, that's pause. Crime? Oh, the gods of Egypt. Right, so this is an introduction of religion to the game, and there you go. God of the Nile, or Cyrus. That's us. <laughs> yeah, we're just basically God King at this point. 
An Egyptian city cannot truly flourish without suitable places of worship in the form of religious temples and shrines. These should be located close to the homes so that they serve and must be dedicated to one of the five gods, Osiris, Ra, Ta, Seth, and Bast. Every city has a different religious tendencies. In a given city, one god is usually held in particular high esteem and is referred to as its patron god. Okay, so basically there will be one god over others in any sort of campaign that uh, you sort of worship more or your people want to worship more. And I think you can check out which ones are the ones you want to worship more uh, in one of the overlays, but for now we're just gonna... well, we can only build them to Bast, so that's easy enough at this point. Okay, so we need a square area of three. I guess there's a... Oh, we've got 500 goons in this place now. Amazing. All right. Uh, I think I'm going to get rid of these guys' homes. Sorry, fellas, you're going to have to move out. Uh, and I'm going to go like that. And I'm going to place a temple right there. Sweet. And that will obviously improve the desirability of the location. The people like... Oh, we've got a temple now. And look, 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 they're changing. They're changing. Times are changing, so is the people. Entertainment. Oh, God, they're just throwing everything at us now. As your city becomes more advanced, some citizens can enjoy leisure time activities such as take, taking in a little entertainment. So now we can build juggler pantheon, pantheons on junctions like this, as you can see. And they, they have to be trained, obviously, from a juggler school, because not anyone can juggle. Uh, and that is the entertainment structures tab, which we'll get to in a second. I just want to place a shrine to bass just there. And that's to improve the de desirability, and these guys have upgraded. Cool. So, juggler school. For all your juggling needs. Where should we put this? Should we put it there? We don't really need it in, like, a like a really handy place. I guess we could put it there. And again, the guy's going to go looking for uh, um, uh, employees, and then we can place a booth down on a junction for our entertainers to entertain. Like there. And again, someone needs to come out for looking for employment, uh, employers, sorry. Place another one there. The junction, so, you know, when the employees are off to work in the gold mines to sweat and toil in the dirt and dust, they're going to have a bit of a, a bit of a gander at someone throwing some, I don't know, bits of wood in the air, I guess. Some balls, maybe. Sweet. So, booths and juggler schools raise city culture. So culture is a score thing, and as you can see now we've got a culture rating of 10. <laughs> a whole 10. Uh, and un unemployment is slowly going down. Mostly because we demolished a huge amount of houses, I guess. Uh, should we put another shrine? Like, there? there? Yeah. That, see, that will counterbalance the d undesirability of this thing. Uh, should we put another booth for jugglers? Let's build it there. Is it like in direct competition? These guys are like be eyeing each other down the, the avenue, like trying to out juggle one another. They're just gonna be going so fast, and then one of them's probably gonna drop one on their head, and there's gonna be an accident, and there's gonna be a casualty, and I'm gonna have to file reports. So yeah, that's uh, that's fucking fantastic. But you know what? I don't care. They can knock themselves out quite literally. So, how's the structural integrity? It's fine. We get some more gold. Place, uh, we sort of blocked ourselves off there. Uh, building needs road access. Yes, I realize this. I think I can get another... See, this is kind of awkward, because you still need a road to access. I think I'm going to put it there. I think that's the maximum probably we're going to get. I'm sure someone much cleverer than me could probably work out a better way of doing it, but I don't have time for that. I'm just going to do that and connect it up. I think I'm also going to expand the district, so I'm going to get a well, well where, well well, well there. Uh, and then I'm going to do this like that. I'm going to build some roads going down here. You can demolish the tree line as well, so you can create some more space for yourself. We still can't build bridges. I was, I was clearly land there to specifically to build bridges, and I was like, nah, there's no point. Um, and this area is, of course, going to need all the amenities of the last area. So, first of all, let's get some more houses down. 
our food levels are low. Right, so we need another Hunter's Lodge. Get another two, in fact. Sweet. You'll notice also the roads are upgrading. The roads will upgrade uh, and change, well, to, to paved roads, I guess, uh, near more built-up and more affluent areas. So these are our most affluent people at this moment. These guys, like, completely look down on these guys. Like, these guys probably work in the temple. This is an ordinary cottage. And it will not evolve until the desirability area improves, which basically just means build more culture and stuff. Uh, and the reason is, is because... <coughs> the reason why this is a cottage is probably because it's got religion, it's got water, it's got food, it's got entertainment, and it's got, like, fire and services. Services are always good. Until, I think, later in the game, when for some bizarre reason people are just so damn snooty that they don't even want the police station near them. Weird, I know. Let's build another house there. That's probably going to be a really shitty shack. Shit shack. Uh, let's build some more there. Too many few, too few jobs. You know what? Let's just generate some more jobs by creating another buzz. What, hell, what the hell happened? Where's my houses gone? Thank you. Bazaar. I want to build a bazaar there. Okay. Now we should have people moving in. Create another temple. Why not? We're getting loads of gold now. Uh, I kind of feel like actually put a temple there, and then let's move the road closer to it. I don't like gaps. You remember what I said about building houses in? Well, I preference building them in twos or squares, I guess. So just build it out so it doesn't look strange. And another bazaar there, tucked in the corner. Lovely. Uh, this place is going to probably need a firehouse and an architect's post. Don't think it will need another uh, police station. Let's just check the crime. Crime's pretty low. I don't. I don't think we need another one. Sweet. So everything's sort of ticking over. I guess we could have probably put another mine in there and another one there. But I've got the road there and my palace here and. <sighs> I guess I could move it, but I don't really feel obligated to because we're still, you know, ticking over with gold, still getting loads in. And you know what? I don't think it matters. It looks good, and that's the main thing, I think. I think, I think. I think, therefore I am. Uh, we could create another shrine here, I guess, to improve the desirability. There we go. Nestled in the rock. Nestled in the rocks. So sort of slurred my words there. Got some more Assam tea. It's my tea of choice at the moment. It's it's like your your bog standard mixed or blended black tea, except it's not blended. It's one specific variety of black tea, i.e. the Assam one. And I think it's like taken or, or plucked at the height of the season from the top leaves. And it's quite malty. It's quite similar in taste to a blended, but it's it's more malted, and it's just got a certain taste with it's slightly different. And I I like it. I really do. Ah, uh, I like my teas. I sometimes worry that I drink too much tea, but then I remind myself that I don't ever get like caffeine crashes. I don't get like the shakes. Uh, I don't get caffeine headaches. One of my housemates developed caffeine headaches from um or caffeine-induced headaches from uh, her coffee intake. <laughs> and she went She went to the, the doctors about it, you know, with this caffeine-induced caffeine, caffeine -induced headache. And what do you think the fucking doctor's first word of advice was? Stop, in, stop taking caffeine. <laughs> it seems so silly, really. You know, if you get caffeine headaches, stop taking caffeine. She still does. And that's the other thing about tea, is it's a lot harder to get addicted to. I keep building houses, even though we've got un unemployment. Just, I just want more people. I want our city to flood. We've got lots of food, look at that. You can see it there. 3,000 game. What are we doing now? What are we missing? What are we actually trying to achieve here? Oh, we need more cottages, that's what we need. So, right. And nearby houses have... Right, so they don't like these guys because they're too scrubby. 
What's wrong with these guys? Police station. These guys don't like the police station. It's your fucking problem. Alright. So we got rid of them, so these guys should upgrade. Meager shanty. Common shanty. Meager? Sturdy hut. What's wrong with the sturdy hut? Desirability. Why have these houses upgraded like this? Look at this. Uh, let's put a booth down, I guess. I'll upgrade the, uh... Oh god, so now there's three competitors down this avenue just really fucking tossing those pieces of wood uh, in the air. Trying to compete one another. God, the accident rate's gonna be through the fucking roof. So, the desirability should have gone up, and yet we've got a rough cottage now, but this guy doesn't like the meager shanty, apparently. God, they're so... they're so demeaning of one another, these people. They really are. Let's build another temple, maybe. That'll solve un unemployment as well. <laughs> it's like inflation of uh, jobs, you know? Just create jobs, and people are happy because they've got jobs. Sweet, alright. They've gone down, haven't they? Meager shanty. Look, you, you, you pillocks. You could have done quad houses three times instead of this. What is this? Ugh. Meager shanty. What's wrong with this meager shanty? What do you mean no local religious facilities? The temple's right there. It's because this priest isn't actually going over to the or priestess, I think, actually. Is it a priestess? Where's she gone? I've lost sight of her. She fucked off. Okay. Huh! I just completely lost track of where she was. Okay, well, we don't have any problems with food anymore. That's something. Look at it. So, how many more ordinary cottages do we need? See, these guys can't upgrade any further because they need pottery. And you may notice, but we can't actually make pottery in this instance. <laughs> Unemployment is 41%. That's not great. Uh, can we build... See, there I go again, placing houses. It's just like... See, the problem is, is that... At this point in the game, we don't have enough to build enough, like, structures like pottery makers and such to actually cover unemployment. We just need people to upgrade so we can finish this uh, campaign instance, really. Are they counting these guys as individual houses? So like one, two, three, four, five, six. Or is it it should be individ it should be, you know, part of the compartmentalized. So that's eight. Twelve. Sixteen. Twenty. Twenty-four. And then we've got some other sort of cottages dotted about. What is wrong with this place? Mega Sha uh, do you know what, you guys? Just infighting and just picking on one another. I've had enough. You can sod off. I'm gonna build two there and then another two there, and you can deal, alright? The great Osiris II will not stand for your pettiness and your prevarication of one another's anger and, and ire. Only I'm the one who can have ire and anger. Because I am your king, God damn it! And there we go! That's better! That solved everything, apparently. Alright. Excellent! You have built the first true city in this unforgiving land. Thank you. I know, I'm wonderful, aren't I? My lineage shall live on. Still struggle to 